It's time to change a mod to make a modification to a mod on the Toyota Tacoma. Now, it is not under the hood, but rather has to do with the pedal commander. You see, when I put it in, I tied up the control unit up underneath the dash, back behind everything, and I was using Bluetooth to control it, which I love. I love that feature. It's absolutely fantastic. But I've decided that now I want to have it up where I can see it. I think it adds a little bit of technical bling to the inside of the Tacoma. And honestly, I've seen some other people place them in these places. So now I've got to get back underneath the, the Tacoma. And I tied it up there pretty darn well. So I'm going to show you where it is. And then we're going to place it up inside the cab. Real quick, if you're not familiar with the Pedal Commander, it is a throttle lag eliminator along with some other features. The Toyota Tacoma, and I'm sure you know this if you have one, has horrible throttle lag. You hit the gas, the accelerator, it doesn't go. The Pedal Commander eliminates that so that when you punch it, it punches back. I love it. There is a discount code. It's RobMotive1. You can save 30 bucks on it. Just go to www.pedalcommander.com and enter discount code RobMotive1. Save yourself some money and turn your Tacoma into what it's supposed to be. So let's take a quick look. I'm going to grab a flashlight and hopefully be able to show you guys where I have this thing positioned in the truck. Let me go ahead and put the seat back. And you can see we need the flashlight because it's a little dark under here. I think if the seat went any slower, I mean, come on, man. Okay, all the way back. Now, where it is, and again, I'm going to try to show you guys. I think I can, if I can find it myself. It's sitting right there. You can see, hopefully, that yellow uh, stripe. That is the pedal commander. That's where I have it tied up. Now, I'm going to go ahead and cut the zip ties and pull it on through. I'll show you where I'm going to pull it through and then where I'm going to put it. So, give me a minute to do that. By the way, if you see those red wires down there, that's part of my Homelink, uh, homemade, I guess, garage door opening system, in case you're wondering. All right, got the two zip ties cut underneath the dash. Uh, I got to say, when I zip tie something in, I zip tie it in for real. What a pain. Uh, to crawl up underneath there, but it was held in well uh, and served its purpose. Now, I've got it fed through, you guys can see, hopefully there, I know it's a bit dark in here, do we need the light? Yeah, probably. Uh, but I have it fed through just in between the gap, between the steering wheel, the steering column, if you will, right there, and it just kind of falls down right to the edge, which is exactly where I want it to be because I'm going to mount it right here. What I'm going to do is just put a piece of double-sided tape on there, nothing too permanent, in case I want to move it somewhere else. Now, the other thought I had uh, was to mount it over here, but you can see there are these slots, and I'm not exactly sure what those are for, if that's temperature sensor for the uh, auto climate, or I'm not exactly sure. But I didn't want to cover that up. I could have dropped it below there, I guess, and let it hang down some. But, you know, if you push on it, it's going to rock and probably fall off. So not a good spot for it for me. Over here, however, is the perfect spot. So Something I always do, I spray a little bit of rubbing alcohol on a cloth just to clean the surfaces I'm going to be sticking to. And I'm going to do that with the controller as well. So, on the back side, which is flat, I'm just going to wipe that off a little bit just to make sure I get good adhesion to that double-sided tape. And then right on the surface here, I'm going to go ahead and wipe that down too. Never hurts. If anything, you're just cleaning things off, right? So, why not? It's a simple step to hopefully give you a, uh, a good install. Now, the double-sided tape. I have just enough left on this roll, uh, actually probably a hair more than I need, so I'm going to peel that off, maybe. Trouble with double sided tape is, it's sticky, it sticks well, right? Let's see, and I think, yeah, maybe about yay much is all I really need, so 
go ahead and cut that off. And I'm going to stick it to the back of the control unit first. Then I'll peel off the top and well, there, it wants to stick right there, so I'm going to just let it go. Now, it's always a good idea to kind of hold down on this for a couple minutes or so just to make sure it really grabs onto what you're trying to stick it to. So I'm going to do that, and then we're going to put it right there. Want to try to get it nice and straight because, you know, it'll drive me insane if it's not. And just like that. Again, I'm going to just put some pressure on it for a couple minutes before I finish what I'm doing. All right, got it all done. You guys can see it is mounted here. The wire is tucked up. I did zip tie one more time underneath there for the wiring. Uh, but I like the location now. I think it's going to be fantastic. I'm going to be able to see the unit. And again, it just adds a little bit of bling to the inside of the truck. I mean, we have the lighted switches here, and now we have the lighted pedal commander there. So, there's only one thing left to do, and that is to take it out on the road and test it real quick. always like to make sure to test things after I've messed with them, just to make sure I didn't unplug anything or, who knows, screw something up. Let's go for a ride. Before we get going, I've actually switched cameras, so it's a little bit brighter now. I just wanted to show you a couple things. Number one, my knee is well away from the cord, so I don't have to worry about my knee hitting anything. And then secondly, I've got good view. Of course, the steering wheel is turned like this right now. Uh, we'll see once I turn the steering wheel, I imagine I'll be able to see right through here. Not that it matters. Let's go ahead and start the truck. I think I'm running on Sport Plus 3, I think, but I could be on plus four. Uh, I'm not quite sure. Let's see how it lights up. I don't remember myself. Looks like sport three. All right, real quick, let me show you the view with the steering wheel in the straightforward position. You can see right here, full disclosure, obviously you can't see it, but since you're not supposed to change the setting when you're on the accelerator, uh, all you have to do is that, and right there it is, just like magic. You could even go the other way if you wanted, I suppose, but you get a good view right there. Now, let's go ahead and hit it and see uh, if the pedal commander is working. I'm sure it is, here we go. <laughs> it was a short run, I know, but that's all it really takes because from acceleration uh, or a stop through acceleration, it is freaking awesome. Again, there is a discount code. It's RobMotive1 uh, at pedalmander, uh, pedalcommander.com. If you want to pick one of these up, save you 30 bucks. I highly recommend it. There is no better mod for the Tacoma than the pedal commander to get rid of that throttle lag and turn the truck into the beast that it really should be. Leave a comment. Let me know uh, what you think of my new mounting location. Thanks for watching. Stay safe out there. Bye.